Hi everyone, this video is going to show you how to add checkboxes to a Google Sheet and then also add conditional formatting so that when a student checks their checkbox, it turns into a completed color, whatever color I designate for completion. So I have a learning plan here. I want to add checkboxes here so that students can check off every time they master their I can statement. If I click in the first cell that I want to add a checkbox, Google Sheets makes this fairly simple. All I have to do is go to insert and come down to checkbox and then it puts the checkbox right into the cell for me. Instead of having to do this individually by clicking in each cell, going to insert and adding checkbox, I can actually click back into this first cell that I added the box in and then hover my cursor over the tiny box at the bottom right corner and it turns into a plus sign and I click and drag. And so now the checkboxes are in each of the cells that I want them to be in. Now the students can come in with their own copy and check every single time they have mastered that I can statement. But I want, when they click this box, I want it to turn blue then so they know automatically, visually, that this is done, that they've mastered this statement. I'm gonna start up here in my purple area. I'm gonna right click on the cell and I'm gonna come down to data validation just to show you. With the check boxes, and if you don't see checkbox here, you can click this drop down, but make sure checkbox is selected. But it says use custom cell values. They default in sheets with the check boxes to true or false. So if it's checked, it's true. If it's unchecked, it's false. You can add anything in here that you want, checked, unchecked, you can make these words whatever you want. But I think it's just easy to use true, false when you're doing that conditional formatting. I just wanted to show you where that true and false comes from when I enter this into the conditional formatting in just a minute. To add the conditional formatting, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna come down and scroll down and go to conditional formatting. When I open this up, as you can see, because it's unchecked, it says it's false, so it automatically gave me this because the cell is not empty. But I actually wanna change this to purple, the same purple color as this, when a custom formula is done. And I have to add that custom formula in myself. And so that custom formula is gonna be equals dollar sign E, which is equivalent to the column I'm in, and then two, which is the row that I am in, and then the equal sign again, and true in all caps. So remember when I showed you that data validation, it showed true in all caps. Then I already have the color change, so I'm gonna select done. So now if I check this box, do you see it turns purple? So I can actually drag now just those three areas so I don't have to add the rule, that conditional format rule to those three boxes, I can just click and drag. So when I uncheck, it goes back to yellow. When I check, it turns back into purple. I don't want to continue dragging the whole way down because I want this to be another color. So I can cut, just come over here. I already have my conditional format rule out. If this isn't here, if you closed out of it, remember we right clicked, came down to conditional formatting. And then so here, so I want this to be that orange color, but remember we need to change this to a custom formula. And my formula here is equal dollar sign E again, because I'm still in column E, but this time I'm in row five equals true and I'm gonna select done. And so now if I check that, it turns orange and I'm gonna click and drag down for all the I can statements that would be orange. I'm just gonna add another rule and I'm gonna make this the blue color. Again, custom formula and select done. And so now when I check this box, it is blue. So when I share it with students and I give them their own copy, whether through a Google assignment or a forced copy link, I wanna leave it unchecked. And so that way, as the student meets their goal, they can check these boxes themselves. I hope this gives you a nice little way to have students self-check their learning plans and also gives you a nice visual if you're checking in on their work through Google Assignments or that forced copy that they shared back with you.